Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Beyond Horizons. This is Nidhi. Today, in this video, we will be learning about how to do a low flow analysis using Dix Island Sound Factory for a 6 bus system. From previous video, I have taken the same 6 bus network and now let us start getting into a power factory. So, once the power factory is on, you can close this and here is the main part. Here, the pattern saves it automatically. So, you have to activate the project or deactivate the project. Once you want to start a project, you have to activate it and once you finish, you have to deactivate it. And for backup, these export it to your device and store it in your comfortable workspace. So now I give file, activate project and here we have given 6 bars. So I'm double clicking it and just giving OK. So the network automatically comes here and here we have not given any set of data the system data. I have um, in this video I have given you the system data in the form of an Excel sheet. This is the system data of a 6 bus model. And here these are the load parameters. These is the bus voltage and the up voltage limit of all the buses. This is the generator nominal power factor and nominal voltage as well as the MVA rating and here we have the load active power values the load flow values for E and then these are the line parameters line to line from which line to which line that is from line 1 to line 6 etc the KV rating, the frequency, the re resistance, the reactance and the resistance so let jump in. So here the first basic thing is to know is that how much is the KV rating of the entire system which is the base KV. So when you see the system data you can see everything is 11 KV. So when you double click this is the first bus so when you double click it you can see line to line and here you change it to be 11 KV okay and this is the upper voltage limit which is 1.05 and automatically it comes here to be 11 kV give ok because here you have all the upper voltage limits to be 1.05 and all the uh, ratings to be 11 kV okay so similarly for all the buses so bus 1, now bus 2, change it to 11 kV, so bus 3, And you would be wondering what about the load flow and what about the upper voltage limit. It is automatically into 1.05 but you can check it. And now it is bus 6. So it is 1.05 and here you change it to be 90. So now what we have done so far. We have finished this complete box. Right? We have finished this complete box and now we need to put in these values for the generator, right? These two values, parameters. So, use the generator, one, we will double click it and then here you go for load flow, right? And then, since this is generator 1 and this is going to be our reference and we have to click this 
feminism as well as reference machine. Okay, and the input mode is the Q mode, and here we need to check how much is the power. We have 100, right? So we can do here 100, okay, and here. Now we have to select so type in basic data, we have to select type. And then you have to go for because it is a new project, so we are giving it to be new project type. So this screen opens up, and here you have to give the normal apparent power, normal voltage, and the power factor. Here the normal apparent power is 100 MPV, and the normal voltage, as we know, is 11 kV, and power factor is 0.8. Alright, so that's it here for the generator. So likewise, we have another generator at pass 2. So we will duplicate it. And here we go in for new project type. Here you can give how much ever is the KV value, the MBA value. So it is 100. And then we have 11 and then this point is make it ok and now we're going for load flow here you just click that one and here you have pq and here you need to know how much is a megawatt and here you know it is 40 megawatt so we change this to 40 megawatt if the other parameters are not given don't worry about it so, so now we have completed the bus parameters and the generator parameters. Now let us finish the load parameters. Right? Okay. Let's go. Ahead. So at load 6 we have 10, load 5 we have 10. So at load 5 we have this value. Where you have to give it in load flow because we are going to do load flow and here we change it to be 10 and the input mode is Q. And here the same thing applies and here as well it is 10. Okay, now we have load 4 to be 15 and load 3 and load 2 to be 10. So load 4 to be 15. So let's go and for load 4 and here in load flow you have to change the Q and here it is 15. Okay and here is it. It's 10. Yes. And again here we have to change it to PQ and it's active power to be 10. Right? Okay, so now what and all is over? The bus parameter is done, the generator parameters, all these parameters are over, the load parameters are done. Now we have just only the line parameters which is the transmission line parameters and we have kv to be 11 frequency to be 50 which is common but we have the resistance value the reactant and also the resistance value depending upon the shine to the shine right okay so now we take bus one from line sorry line one to line six Right? Okay. So this is bus this is bus six, bus one and bus six. So this line. So you don't click it, you take the basic data and here you have to select new project type and line type. Mm -hmm. And here when it's opened up you have the basic data, 
here the basic data is 11 kb, 50 hertz and this is transmission line. So it is an overhead line and here we have the resistance and the reactance values. So what is the resistance value? This is 0.2, the reactance is 0.4 and this is attend is 0.02. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and when you click load flow you have this is at its value 0 0.02 and click OK and again click OK. So we have entered the first value. So now what is this bus from 6 to 5? So check out from 9. Okay, we, go, we will go in order. So line 1 to 4, we have 11, 11 kV, 50 hertz, 0 0.2 resistance, 0 0.4 and it's the same. So this is line 1 to 4 and we can enter the data. So here we have to go in new project type, line type, here we change to 11, 50, we change it to the overhead. Here it is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and click load flow, and you have 0 0.2, and click line, 0.02. So it depends upon you. If you pronounce it to be 0 0.02, it's same as 0 0.02. Right? So, so you click OK. So we have finished bus 1 to 6 and bus 1 to 4 so line 1 to 6 and line 1 to 4 right these two things are done now we go for line 5 to 6 of 6 to 5 and we have 0 0.2 0 0.4 and 0 0.02 so it is line 6 to 5 or 5 to 6 so here we have to select new project type line and here we change 11 and change this to the overhead. This is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.4 and here we change it to be 0 0.02. Okay, so this is done. Now we have 5 to 2. Okay, line 5 to 2. 11 kV, 50 hertz, 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. So, substance is 0 0.02. So, reactance alone changes here. So, it is from 5 to 2. And this transmission line. And here, we select new project type. And here it is 11 kV. Change it. Here it is 0 0.2. Here it is 0 0.6. And here it is the same 0 0.02. Do okay. Okay, okay. So then done. Now we have from bus 2 to bus 3. Let's see how to make the table. Yes, we have from bus 2 to bus 3. 11 kV, 50 hertz, 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. And 0 0.02. So we have 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. So it is so it is which line? It is this line. Line two to three. So we double click it. Right. New project type. And here you have eleven kb. And here you have overhead line. And here you get zero point three, zero point six. And here we have zero point zero two. And just click OK and OK. Is it clear? I hope it's clear. If there are any doubts or any anything you want to ask regarding the modeling of power system components, how you can please. Or if you want to ask any doubts regarding load flow analysis, please do comment so that I will respond it to you. Respond. I will answer your questions. So now we have this is bus 3 to bus 4. So here we have to check 
plus 3 minus 4 and 11 kV would be what? 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 is the same thing and that's why we will check for plus 4 to 6 it's, it's the same so let's do it so it's this line so we have to type new project and line type and here we have 11 kV here we change to overhead line here you have 0 0.2 here you have 0 0.4 then click load flow and 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. I hope by now you will be familiar to give all the parameters and how to give the parameters. So now this is the last line. So double click it and the same procedure new project type, line type, and then 11 kV, 50 hertz, overhead line, sorry, overhead line, and here you have 0 0.2. You have 0 0.4 of the reactants, and then for load flow, you have the susceptance value 0 0.02 microcentimeter. So, okay, okay. So, we have given so now we have completed all the parameters, all the parameters for this six bus model. So, let's know. Let's try to do how to run a load flow. So, in order to do the load flow analysis, here in this highlight we have this icon where you see it says calculate load flow. So, when you click on it, so it will come calculation method, AC load flow balance, positive circuit, positive sequence, and then at 20 degrees because all the resistance and the reactance values are. On 20 degrees, so when you give execute, wow, we have run the system and we see that all the bus voltages are in their limits because if it is if it shows green color, it, it says that if all the all the buses are in their limits and the transmission lines are not overloaded as you can see they are not overloaded and here when you want to see the color or when you want to see how much is the difference or the legend play you can see you can click on this so that you will get the color legend so from this you can see it is how the voltage is whether it is in the upper limit or in the lower limit or it is in the at one per unit because a system if it is in one per unit you, you say that the system is stable as well as now when you run the load flow you say that the power generation is equal to the power load, power load right so the power balance is met that is the power generated is equal to the demand so the power flow is uniform so the system is stable so this is what we understand and we get to know about the active power generated, the active power uh, of the load and the reactive power generated and also the reactive power and the load, the line flows, all these things we, need, we can see. And if we want to know how much, how many iterations this load flow has taken, so now you can click this maximization of the output window this is maximization of the graphic window this one so when you click this you will see that the maximization of the output window so here you can see that it started to calculate the load flow and here start of neutral graphing algorithm as you know this is the famous one and this is the it gives you the accurate results and here in three iterations the, uh, Newton Aspen has converged and the flow calculation is successful. So, this is all about how to do a low flow analysis in the big island or factory. And if you have any doubts regarding low flow analysis, please do comment. I will respond to you as quick as possible.
Thank you very much. The next video will be on Shark Subject Analysis. And every week there will be new videos which, from which you can learn how to model a power system, how to model, how to run a web flow analysis, and then in the next week we will see about how to perform a short circuit analysis. If you like this video, please do like, please do like, share, and subscribe and comment on the video. Oops, I forgot another thing. Now, once your simulation is over, you have to click here, File. You can deactivate the project. Right? Once you deactivate it, once you deactivate it, you can export your file to to keep it safe in your system because always your computer is not reliable to keep all your files, all your data in one single system. So have many backups. So here. When you want to export this file, so you have to file. You have to first deactivate it, and then click file. Then you have this option to be export, and you have data. You have to export either in PSD or DZ format. So when you give this, you can go to your system, and then when you give OK. You, you will be directed to whichever folder. For example, if I'm saving in the desktop, I can rename it to be 6bus network. Okay, and it is a PFT file. And when I give save, it says execute. Just execute it. And here, file, exit. And it will ask, do you want to really exit the power factory and do not give purge process so just give ok so it's exit and here you can see for example i have saved it in the desktop so this is your network and then you can import that to the system so when you want to import this file you have to again double click power factory Sorry, it's taking a bit of time. So, importing and exporting is the main way to keep your files safe and secure and when people are doing their pieces like master's thesis or PhD thesis, we need to have these backup files in a safe and secure place. So we close this and here we have import. So it is a PFD file or DZ file, but R is a PFD file. So click here and here you find this one and just give open and just give execute because we have we have so many other files that is why I'm not able to execute import it but when you give execute it will automatically get executed okay thank you so it will be automatically getting executed thank you very much and if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and also comment on this video. Thank you very much. See ya.